Welcome to my reaction to episode 3 of Hana Monogatari. Kaiki showed up last time looking real nice with that beard and glasses and great dinner. What a, what a nice guy. It doesn't matter that he gives you his card and says, call me anytime and I'll just scam whoever you want. He's a nice guy. So I don't know what Kanbaru is going to do now. I have no idea where this whole thing is actually going to go at all still. So we'll find out in 3, 2, 1, play. So back to Roka. Numachi, was that her name? Numachi Roka. What's up? Everything looking nice and golden in here. How did how did she do that? Is she the collector and why why why? For to to, in some way help her restore her leg. That's it. You just grab the titty. At least there was a reason for it. You just gotta fondle someone's boobs, and that's all it takes. What the fuck? He was a pretty big deciding factor in the last arc. Yeah. He keeps a lot of his cards close to his chest, only reveals what he wants. You never know how much he knows. So that was the goal behind all this. How many parts are there, and does she have? Well, all right. The beginning of the OP sounds like heavy breathing. I don't know if that is the intention, because of her running and st stuff. But maybe. But anyway, of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos. Monogatari comes out every Saturday. Or you can get the videos early before they go up on YouTube if you want to check out the Patreon. I'm watching all of Hana Monogatari all in one day over there. Um, check out my second channel as well if you want to see some other videos from me. That is all linked down below. Thank you very much. The tone of this OP is all over the place, it's going through so much. I haven't really read the lyrics much yet. I've mostly been into the visuals and the song. Are we going to end this arc with a climactic basketball match? A one-on-one? -on -one? Maybe play a game of horse? Or monkey? Is her leg good? I thought that might happen by the end, but is it already? Is her leg fixed? Because of because of the the devil, obviously hand is bandaged. Yeah, her leg is good. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if maybe it's it might be injured still, but she might be able to walk. Might not be as bad, but now she seems pretty quick on her feet. Seems to be no problem at all. First, you lost a foot race. 
Now you might lose at basketball. Oh, nice. Damn. Little off your game. She's got your beat. There you go. What is the score? It really seemed like Numachi was on top of that for most of it. It's not. It's boring, though, I will say. Like, the fun of it comes from at least watching. It comes, a lot of the joy comes from seeing the shot and then wondering, is it gonna go in? But if they just dunk it, it's like, oh, well, anyway. yeah, you can do that, and you don't know, fucking do it, but. That's it, just be taller. What? Maybe that's what would happen. I don't know if they'd be that extreme, but I mean, I guess it probably would. It was pretty insane, though. That that fight with Araragi, that was one of the first big moments of insane animation in the whole series. Very cool stuff. Yeah, why not? Okay, cool. Perfect. And yet, you're not doing it. You're right here. I guess we're gonna just bang on the basketball court. A full court press, if you will. Running away might not be losing. Maybe it is, depending on your view, but it's also not winning. It's kind of just putting it off for the purpose of, you would hope, coming back to then win. But, or you just run away forever. Wow. I mean, I think things have changed. Obviously, her leg is fantastic.
it's not as simple as just leaving it behind and forgetting about it. For her, it is. But not for Kanbaru. Whoa, just the hand. Is it going to spread, or is it just going to be the hand? So it gets smaller every time? Oh, okay. It does get, it spreads more the more. The more you use it, I guess. And it's kind of reverted back. It is called the monkey's paw, after all. Can't put everything off forever. Putting it off doesn't make it not a promise anymore. It's just more like a monkey. Well, shit. Are you just walking around with that out in the open? Hey, what the hell happened? How'd you, like, get that badly messed up? Basketball is not like a tackle sport. Yeah. So even then she could compare herself to people less fortunate than her. Where she had a lot. And now seeing people less fortunate make her makes her feel better about her own problems. Shit, well, good for her. But they probably didn't like that. People would find their reasons to hate you. But if everybody was talented, then... Would anybody be? If there's nothing to compare it to, if everybody is equal, then... People are talented at different things. So you wanted something with your hands? Okay. Footwork's important in basketball too. You gotta you gotta move. That's not a fair punishment. You can play a sport for whatever reason you want. The hell is a stress fracture fuck up your leg that badly? Is it really that bad?
They were all nice to you now. Of course. Of course. People will treat you very differently if something like that happens. Doesn't change anything. But I thought she had a scholarship and she had to move because she couldn't afford it anymore. Is that not what really happened? She left on purpose because she didn't want to be there anymore? All right, so that was the first person that she helped. What the hell happened with this girl? That's interesting. Like this person is doesn't have the time with everything they got going on to be like, oh, poor me. I just want straight up advice. That's an interesting thing to do. You could also find it rude. Like, I don't want to bring my problems to them when they clearly have their own shit to worry about. But she decided to do it. And yeah, it actually ended up being a good thing because it made her feel like, hey, other people got it bad too. <laughs> Which is a, a shitty thought a lot of the time. Like, oh, people have it really bad out in the world. <laughs> but I guess sometimes it makes you feel a little better about yourself. Wow. Yeah, when you put it like that, it sounds a little, a little fucked up. But I mean, you're listening to her, you're, you're giving her something, you're helping her out. And if you're getting something out of it that's different, well then, so be it. Maybe it's not good to say that you'll solve them when you really won't, and it might be better for them to have spent their time elsewhere. But if it all works out and it ends up kind of them solving it themselves... I don't know. And you just didn't do anything. So we don't even we don't even get to know what they were or what happened. I'd really like an example, but I guess it doesn't matter. So that's just reinforced her beliefs. They push their problems off to her and there you go. They're not problems anymore. But of course, a big theme of this whole thing has been about saving yourself. And you're the only one who can truly do it.
I love all this music and all the visuals with the basketballs are pretty creepy. As she talks about her descent into becoming this devil, it's a nice tone. The Poisonous Swamp, the Collector of Misfortune. Great names. Yeah, she went on for a while. There's more? Goddamn. That was all an epilogue, too, she says. Long epilogue. Yeah, that didn't really come up. What is her choice this time? Oh, I want to hear it. Nah, I think we should go ahead and face it head on. Story time, please. All right. I feel like the episode is going to end. There it goes. Is there time for anything else? Nope. Okay, so quite a little monologue from Miss Numachi, so that was interesting. I didn't expect it to focus so heavily around this new character, but she's pretty interesting so far. I don't know how much she'll matter going forwards. I don't know how she'll end up at the end of this arc. Pretty good conversations, though. Pretty good ideas being explored. I'm about taking responsibility for your own issues, running away. We'll see where it actually goes. I think that's it. There's nothing else, right? Okay, I will move right on to the next one then. Thank you for watching.